Let me suggest this to you, that sponsorship these days in a crowded and in a cluttered media environment is a difficult decision, one to make, but also a very difficult strategy to implement. But there is an interesting case study here that we're going to talk about. Uh, Hazel Chimandamba is the head of sponsorship at uh, Standard Bank, and she has moved the brand into the extreme athletic space. Standard Bank Iron Man. At first glance, Hazel, doesn't seem to be a fit. Where's the, where's the benefit to it, to your brand and also to Ironman? The main reason why Standard Bank partnered with the Ironman series of events is that we looked at these properties and realized that they're actually a flagship property on the African triathlon calendar. And more so, it exemplifies all the ideals that we strive to uphold as Standard Bank within our own business. Um, it's hard work, endurance, dedication, and a commitment in it for the long haul. What you're also trying to do is to reach customers by articulating a certain type of brand tonality, a certain type of brand message. What does that association give you? The aspirational nature of the Ironman series of events is one where you find the Ironman triathlete is admired globally across the universe. And again, it's all about the dedication and the hard work that goes into it and the endurance, mm. which resonates very closely with Standard Bank as a brand. We've been around for 153 mm. years. And without that commitment, which the Ironman triathlete also exudes, mm. we certainly would not be around for that long. How has the sponsorship been progressing so far then? The sponsorship of the Standard Bank Ironman series has really been progressing tremendously well. We are very proud to have partnered with the Ironman um, local mm -hmm. team, and it's working for us even internally, where it's resonating with our customer, but well, with our staff base. And you find we've got quite a few staff members who are actually triathletes, and they've won Ironman a number of times. So what you're also saying to me is that the external facing dynamic is as important as the internal side of it. So Absolutely. you would be doing it for both constituencies. That's in other right. Words. We yeah. certainly strive to drive brand love internally. These are our brand ambassadors after all. And of course, it resonates very well. And there's a good client fit in terms of what our clients are passionate about. That's what we do. We sponsor properties that our clients are passionate about. It's our customer, client, consumer passion points that we're trying to tap into. And through Ironman, we're certainly able to do so. Hazel Chimandamba, you can't uh, talk about sponsorship unless you're talking about this word leverage. In other words, you spend a certain amount on the property itself, but in order to unlock the value of that property, you have to spend more money in other media spaces. How do you work out the leverage dynamic when it comes to Iron Man? As marketers, I believe when you look at any sponsorship property, one has got to have a very solid leverage plan in place. And by this, I'm talking about an integrated marketing communication strategy, which touches on all the different facets of the marketing mix. So whether it's the digital piece, social media, um, your CSI can also do a very strong job in terms of driving your brand reputation on a sponsorship property. And then, of course, your typical activations that one would go into. And PR, I believe, is one of the less costly bits in the marketing mix that's able to really mm. assist us in the leveraging of a property. So we certainly strive to use the entire um, 360 approach in terms of marketing. Here's an interesting question. When you acquire a sponsorship, are you also developing that leverage strategy in tandem, or do you go out and grab the sponsorship and then say, well, what can we do with it? What, what, what is some thought around that? I think it all happens at the same time, really, because when you realize that there's an opportunity or a gap in the market and that there is a sponsorship property that's available, one has to look at what the benefits are from a business perspective, make a very strong business case for it, and in so doing, also come up with the different leverage opportunities or platforms that you'd be able to push the actual property, um, well, you, you utilize the property. Do you, do you think the age of big ticket sponsorship is giving way to perhaps smaller, more niched type of sponsorship opportunities like Iron Man? Not necessarily. I believe it There's room for on, both, in other words. There's room yeah. for both. It depends on where a brand is from a brand life cycle perspective. If you're trying to push awareness, of course, you need to go that route. Mm. But the big route. The big route, yeah. yes. However, for us as Standard Bank, going the Iron Man route certainly speaks to what we are striving to achieve, what, what value we're trying to add to our, to our clients and our consumers out there. And when you look at the message that we have behind the Iron Man Triathlon campaign, is really around never stop moving forward. And this makes sense to just about everyone, not just a triathlon community. Because remember, when one goes into, when one makes that decision to commit to entering an Ironman race, it's a long journey. And we're saying the only way to succeed is if you never stop moving forward. Ultimately, you've got to measure the success of your investment. What will constitute success in this particular property? 
this takes me back to when you actually yeah. start, when you acquire a sponsored property. I believe in return on You have to have a clear investment. objective, obviously. Very clear yeah. objective. So I believe in return on objectives. I'm quite big on that. And I also believe in return on investment in terms of actually shifting that bottom line. And, and shifting both are needle. equally as important. Both are equally as important. And now there's a new term that's doing the buzz in the marketing world called return on culture. Mm. And you touched on it earlier on. So I would strive to achieve a return on each of those different facets. Thank you very much for joining us. Hazel Chamandamba, Head of Sponsorship at Standard Bank. Fascinating insight. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jeremy.